And I do this on the weekends. And on the weekends, we have some like high profile donors. They bring special food. They really do it up. And, and I make the determination not to eat any of the lunch food when they come. And I only take, normally, only take what I collect from the village. And I even share it with the extra monks. And when I came back, I was able to share it with the, there was a Samanera who, who had an empty bowl and, and I filled it up for him. And I was like, well, what about this? What about this? And we have these banana leaves, these packets of banana leaves. And uh, they're like little containers almost. And I could, I could uh, scoop up the, the curries and just give him as much as he wanted. And I think, uh, yeah, I gave it to him before I even took for myself. So I was still organizing what I was giving to other people. So sometimes we put ourselves in this position where we can feel the, the benefits of going for alms, being content with what we receive, whether it's mixed up and all, all the curries are mixed up together, if it's in these banana packets. And we really feel that like in, in, in Hawaii, in Kauai, when I went there. Sometimes, one time, sometimes I ate some crazy stuff just to fill myself up, because that's all I got. Or in Myanmar, I also, I also one time just ate rice. I had to mix it with water, because one time I only got rice, and my, my stomach seized up. And so I had to boil water when that happened again. Mix it up, mix it with water. Sometimes I get sugar, and I have like a sugar curry. And people complain about the oil and the, and the Myanmar food. If you eat like a local, you're not going to complain about the oil, because that oil is to flavor the rice. Because sometimes you only get rice, and you get one oily curry, and that can that can make or break whether you have a, a decent meal or whether you need to put water. And so it gives you contentment and satisfaction in, in collecting the alms and making your livelihood. It makes you think a lot about cause and effect, making merit, making merit by the people that are giving the food, they're making merit, you're making merit by <laughs> putting yourself in that position and going and collecting the food and making merit also in giving it to the other monks, giving the food to the other monks. Making merit by doing meditation along the way and taking care of your own mind. Making merit by thinking about cause and effect. So there are so many uh, contemplations that can be that can be done when you go for alms, whether it's in Kauai or it's in Sri Lanka, anywhere. And it's a wonderful experience. And I felt very inspired. And I wanted to share that with you. And I'll read the English again for you from the Dhammapada. As a bee gathers honey, from the flower without injuring its color or fragrance. Even so does a sage go on his alms round in the village. And should a person do good, let him do it again and again. Let him find pleasure there. For being blissful is the accumulation of good. So may what inspires me also inspire you to do good again and again and use that cause and effect and happy feeling you get from giving to fuel your aspirations, to apply the Buddhist teachings, 
to follow morality, to put into practice concentration and insight so that you may reach Nibbana safely and quickly. Sadhu, sadhu, sadhu.